I didn't grow up with pectus. Over the last 10 or 15 years, I started noticing it. When I'd be running, it'd be harder and harder. I'd get more short of breath. I was getting more palpitations in my heart, chest pain, diff just different things. And went to a pulmonary specialist locally, and they did a chest scan. From the scan, what you could see was it had pushed my heart all the way over to the left. And when it did that, the heart smashed my left lung. So my heart's beating over here, it's way over here, and I have no space left in between my spine and sternum where your heart's supposed to be. They sent me to Duke and talked to that guy, but no one, they all saw the pectus in the chest scan, but they said, well, there's nothing you can do. You know, they would never operate on someone your age and kind of sent me packing. I'm just looking forward to being able to do everything like everyone else can run around, have fun. She loves to dance and she wants to continue dancing and she also plays the flute. Dr. Nartrika has recommended that she have the surgery done because she's having trouble breathing on a daily basis. Going up and down three flights of stairs makes her winded because her heart is placed right below the center of the rib cage. We don't know exactly what causes pectus, but um, there's two different kinds. There's a kind where the chest actually pushes out, and then there's one where the chest caves in. And uh, especially when it caves in and puts pressure on the heart, shifts the heart, crushes the lung field, uh, they can have tremendous symptoms. I was frightened. I mean, it was something that I felt without this, my life expectancy may not have been too great. I mean, I d had only this much space left. If anything happened, any kind of trauma and, and the shortness of breath and the palpitations and, and the wheezy cough, it just was too much. I was so thankful that we found somebody that could do this after we'd been told, even at Duke, you know, you'll just have to live with it. They just wouldn't operate on somebody your age. So when we arrived there, I was, it was mixed. I was scared, but I was really thankful. I came here uh, several years ago and started doing the repairs. I trained at UCLA specifically on chest wall deformities. And um, it's interesting that the field of pectus has evolved significantly. It was once thought that these deformities were all cosmetic and it didn't affect the patient at all. And now we're finding out that people can have very severe heart and lung problems related to this um, problem. Uh, pectus excavatum has been repaired for a long time. And one of the changes that took place in 1998 was a new technique for repairing pectus. And so um, prior to that, all of the pectus had been done with a very invasive surgery where we actually removed a lot of the ribs during the course of the operation. Today is a very special day, which we're doing a repair of a, a deformity of the chest wall called a pectus excavatum. That is actually where the chest caves in. And by fixing this, we, we actually push the chest out with a bar using a small incision on either side, correct that, and uh, it, it does wonders for them. It, it changes people's lives and is, uh, uh, it's a critical thing. So in kids, their chests are actually very soft, they're very malleable, and they move out very easily when we put these bars into the chest and push the chest forward. The adult chest, initially we thought, wouldn't move, wouldn't reform to the normal shape of a chest just by putting bars in, but it turns out it will. And so rather than recreate the wheel and have the adult uh, thoracic surgeons have to go through the entire learning curve that we went through as pediatric surgeons, we can take what we've learned and apply it to the kids, and they can take their knowledge of the adult chest and apply it to those adult patients. That exchange of knowledge is what really makes this program a success. So today we have a, a wonderful lady who is, um, has, has had this for a long time and, and is not really concerned at all about the cosmesis of it, but over the past 10 years she's an avid runner, an avid uh, tennis player, she does yoga. She's noticed a significant drop in her ability to perform her exercise. And uh, if you look at uh, her heart and some of the images that I'll show you, she has this huge shift and crushing of her heart based on the deformity of her chest. 
So we're going to be fixing that today and uh, Drs. Notrika and McMahon from PCH are up here and they're, they're going to be assisting in the case and then I'm going to be going downtown to help them. Um, the, the really exciting thing is that we have two people that are, are professionals at pectus repair in kids and then you have me that's a professional in repair of the pectus in adults and we're combining our experiences which are very different and um, coming up with the best possible techniques and, and learning from each other and uh, it, it's, it's excellent. This actually is her CT scan and you can see here this very narrow space between her spine here and her chest and you actually have like a collapse of the chest wall here. Her heart is completely shifted over into the left chest which is crushing the lung tissue here and as you go even lower she even has some pressure here on her liver. This is a, the CT scan of what a normal person looks like and you can see this nice wide rounded shape with the heart sitting here. In uh, Michelle's case, she has this huge collapse and sideward shift of the heart. This is a quick drawing that one of our artists did, and it shows you the rib cage with this red bar supporting and holding it out. And in the adult, we actually sometimes put two or even three bars because of the tremendous pressure and stiffness of the chest. So we place these bars and they stay in several years to allow remodeling of the chest wall. This is kind of a, a, a moderately to very severe depression. This guy actually had a lot of uh, pressure on his heart. And you can see here the two incisions where we slid both bars and lifted the chest and it holds it out in, in perfect position. And that's, that looks completely normal and is a beautiful, great repair. So one thing patients always ask me is, um, you know, how do these bars affect their life? And they actually are underneath the skin. You can barely feel them in skinny people and they live completely normal lives. This is an x-ray which shows an adult two bars and um, a, a nice repair of, of a post-op patient. She said seven days and we were just thinking, how is that possible? to do what she was going to do. So we flew in on Sunday, Monday, they did all the tests. Tuesday morning, she did the surgery, which is putting in these metal bars. And um, I had an epidural in the, the top of my back and they kept me on that for a few days, which was wonderful. I was so comfortable. It helped so much with the pain. Everyone at the Mayo Clinic was just wonderful. And then after a few days, they got me up they finally got me off the epidural, and um, she stood by her word. Saturday, she discharged me, and Sunday, we flew back across the country. I think in six weeks, I should be able to really start doing, I should be able to start, I'm hoping, running again and, and all. I'm not supposed to do a lot of torquing. You know, these bars are in there, and they want them to stay put for now. But I'm able to use my arms, put my arms up in the air. I dry my hair. I can do a lot just this little bit of time out. You feel it. You know they're there. Um, they don't let you forget it. Um, but um, hopefully, I'm hoping in six weeks I'll really be up and going a lot better. Really, we're the, one of the only centers in the United States. There's very few that combine both adult and children for repair of pectus excavatum. So it, uh, it's, it's Pretty, it's a pretty special thing, actually. I think the patients benefit from, from uh, what we've done in the last 10 years as, as a pediatric surgery community, and now we can immediately translate that into the adult repair. This collaboration is going to benefit children in Arizona as well as the adults in our community in the Southwest, and we're building a center to um, bring that collaboration together so we can spread this expertise nationwide, potentially. To have something like this at our disposal is just overwhelming. It's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. And the fact that our daughter is going to be able to be treated here and that it's been done before and we have the utmost faith in the, the hospital itself and all the people involved in it.